forecast with Coin 6 Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman. Well, good Monday evening to you. Let's start as we always do, looking ahead at the forecast so you know how to plan. We begin with our 24 hour forecast, and tonight goes first. A little breezy for some areas tonight but through 7 o'clock this evening in the 60s, lots of sunshine. 9 o'clock, we're already cooling and the sun just going down. And then at 11 o'clock, we'll be down to 57 degrees and we'll see some clouds start to increase later this evening. But the main thing is cooling quickly after sunset. Now, tomorrow's forecast mostly cloudy to start the day. Could have some patches of drizzle around. Lunchtime, also a chance of a shower anytime, but more than anything, just a cooler, grayer day. 59 at lunch and 65 or thereabouts to finish the day. So I didn't put any raindrops on here, but we could see a passing shower or two. More on that in a few minutes as I kind of explain what's going on. Here's the situation right now, though. Beautiful. I mean, it is just gorgeous outside. 69 degrees, a little breezy in some parts of town, wind gusting from the northwest to 17 miles an hour. But we made it into the 70s right here in the I 5 corridor. Gorgeous day, and still felt like summer some places, many places actually, east and south of the Willamette Valley. And what an incredible weekend. Did you just love it? I had people texting me saying, I cannot believe this weather. And yeah, no wonder. High temperatures Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a 79, a 78. And a 74 degree day, and it was fantastic weather for the Grand Floral Parade. A little warm on the sunny side of the street, but we'll take warm rather than wet, right? We were dry now in the I 5 corridor. These clouds kind of dissipating, but they'll reform overnight. We've got some thunderstorms going on in the far southeast corner of Oregon, and they'll stay over there on the far southeast side tonight. The big player for us will be this area of low pressure. Now, you can't really pick it out, so I labeled it as spinning around here off the coast of Vancouver Island. And this will drift slowly to the south and to the east. As it does, it will bring down some more showers and some cooler air into our sky. So temperatures are headed down and the number of showers are headed up. Now, they're very isolated tomorrow. This is 8 a.m. Notice most of the showers are over the coast range, a shower or two here in the valley. Same thing at lunchtime tomorrow. Most of the action goes uh, over southwest Washington, especially north of Clark County, with a few isolated showers elsewhere. And then in the afternoon, it looks like most of the action is over the Cascades. And that's not to say that we couldn't get a shower at any time, but not a lot tomorrow. Then on Wednesday morning, again, the clouds are back, mainly gray, and they may break up for a time, but the showers then pop up as we get into the afternoon. And so that looks like we'll water our plants in our gardens at that point. Uh, so here's the situation for tomorrow mostly cloudy along the coast and drizzle and passing showers there. We could see some patchy drizzle in the valley, otherwise, an isolated shower or two. We'll certainly be seeing mostly dry weather east of the Cascades outside of an isolated thunderstorm in the north. Northeast Mountains. We'll see 60 through the gorge and breezy in the afternoon, and 56 for a high at Government Camp with scattered showers. They'll come and go tomorrow. 65 for a high in Portland. We start out at 50. We have a cloudier, cooler day with an isolated shower or patchy drizzle around. But overall, I think Wednesday and Thursday have a better chance for showers, and our temperatures reflect that. We'll be a little cooler, down to 64 degrees both of those days for our highs. Keep in mind, so far, our, our coolest high to this point is 72 until today. So we're kind of on this downward spiral. We get a little bit of a reprieve Friday and Saturday, looking like it's going to be in the 70s again. And then uh, cooler on Father's Day, I think uh, we could even get some afternoon showers for our dads. Okay.